have now been here for two weeks. Yesterday marked the day. We started teaching on Sunday. Um, I've been teaching for a week now and things are going really well. Especially considering how nervous and afraid I was of teaching when I first got here. Um, but that's partially, mostly because of the fact that I arrived here thinking that I would be an assistant English teacher because that's what the school told me I would be. So before I came I didn't make any efforts to prepare for teaching at all because I assumed that I would just be helping out in the classrooms. So I didn't like research how to make lesson plans, how to organize activities, how to calm the class down, how to do anything. Um, so I got here and was told the first day that I was going to be teaching classes on my own and I was like, okay, interesting, I didn't know that, you could have told me that sooner. But the night before we started teaching, I got a bunch of the teachers to come downstairs to the little common room that we have on the first floor, which is right over there, and like work on lesson planning together. So the first lesson, the first week, because I am teaching the same lesson all week, was an introduction of myself, talked about, like I made a PowerPoint about like me, my family, my sisters, my hobbies, all this stuff. And then I got into like grading policies, classroom expectations, rules for the classroom, and then like goals for the year. And then we did some activities with their names, their English names, um, and just like played a couple of games at the end. Um, and so that was the 40 minute class, and I repeated that four times over the week. And that's the other thing. I'm only teaching four classes a week right now, which is absolutely like nothing. Like an English teacher in China teaches 20 hours a week, 20 classroom hours a week. And I'm only doing four, and that's because, like, by assistant teacher, I guess the school meant that I would only be part-time teaching, <laughs> which is not the same thing at all, but that's what they meant. And so I am going to start teaching another class. I'm actually going to have six hours a week rather than four, but that's still nothing. Um, so starting next month, I'm going to start teaching the SAT course because they have a bunch of students who are going to go abroad um, and study in the U.S. and in order to apply to universities in the U.S. you have to be able to take the SAT and do well in that. Um, they wanted me to teach that, so. And the reason that I'm starting later is because, like I'm starting after this October break, is because they didn't have the books for me and the SAT has been completely changed this past year. <laughs> so that's another difficulty, another struggle that I'm going to have to deal with. I'm um, having to teach a test that I haven't really taken. The SAT now doesn't take off points for wrong answers. They only have four choices rather than five. They eliminated all of the obscure vocab words that I had to study in order to take the test. So basically they're changing the whole test and I have to be able to teach that. So yeah, starting after October 7th, I'm going to have six hours a week. Right now I only have four. Great, so the first class that I had um, on Sunday was a really good class. They participated, they did all of my activities, they did my games, and I felt really good about it because that was, like I was, like I said, I was really nervous about the first class. But they were really good, they did everything well, um, and I walked out of there really confidently. Um, and then the second class that I had, later that afternoon, was just completely silent. Just did not say a word. <laughs> and you have no idea how frustrating it is. They try to teach a class that just doesn't say anything, especially considering the fact that the class that I'm teaching is a spoken English class. Like English is part of their huge exam that they have to pass in order to get into university. And so English grammar and English writing is a, a different class. Um, and so my lessons, my class is specifically supposed to be just speaking English and listening comprehension. So all of my activities, everything that I'm doing, is geared toward making them talk and making them communicate and practice speaking. And so that's very, very difficult then if the entire class just sits there, does not say a word, they don't tell me when they don't understand anything. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a point when I like explained a whole activity, asked them multiple times if they understood it or if they like didn't know what something was, they were completely silent and they said, okay, go. And they just sat there. And then I had to like backtrack 10 minutes, try to figure out what it was they didn't understand, although they didn't tell me what they didn't understand, and then like re-explain everything until they could figure out how to do the activity. And so that was really frustrating. That was a very difficult 40 minutes. Um, but I made it through. And then my other two classes this week have been really good. Um, and yeah, so I planned my next lesson. Um, I did next week's lesson today uh, because 
the Sunday class that I taught was Friday schedule, so my Friday classes are now a week ahead. And it went really well. Everything's going well. Um, so, yeah, that's how teaching's been for the first week. Basically very, very intimidating at first, but really not so bad at all. I <laughs> actually have had a lot of fun in the classrooms, playing games with my kids, and just, I don't know, it's good. It's, it's really enjoyable. I have kind of settled down into a rhythm here. I now know how to find food very easily and very cheaply, which is just excellent. So grateful for that. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for now. I will see you all later, and thank you for watching.